Hey, I realized when I was looking at number two that I was just having you do way too much extra last night. So I think this is going to be a much simpler way. I'm going to use number one and we're going to like revisit number one to show you um, a more simple way to have gotten that statement of similarity. And then um, let me know if you've got any questions, but I think this way will make it a lot more simple. So the easy part that we did really quickly, of course, was that we knew how to fill in the proportion because we knew that this altitude theorem means that the altitude goes in the top of this proportion. So that part we got down easily. I'm going to add kind of a little picture of the two triangles inside, but instead of trying to like flip it around and do all that crazy stuff I was trying to do yesterday, we're going to do it a lot more simple. I'm just going to draw it in the same orientation that it is in the triangle. Alrighty, so I've drawn a copy of each of the smaller triangles in here, and the um, proportion tells us that EG and GF are corresponding sides. So that's why I've highlighted those in yellow. And I'm going to start going ahead and writing my statement of similarity. I'm going to do the small triangle first, the medium, and then the large. So I need my triangle symbol. And I'm going to start with, so I'm going to write EG. For this small triangle, I'm going to start with that side. So because E was the angle that's not the right angle, and I wrote that first, and then I wrote the right angle second, when I start my statement of similarity for the medium triangle, I need to make sure I do that same order. I need to do the vertex that's not the right angle first, and then the right angle second, so that they're in the correct order. So that means I need to do F, G, and I'm going to get to the large in a minute. Don't worry about that. So for my first triangle, since I did E and G, the only vertex left is D. So we're writing that as E, G, D. I'm going to put my little similar symbol in there. And then the only vertex we have left for the medium triangle is the E. I haven't written E yet. And then, so now, I need to do the large triangle. So I'm going to add my little squiggly similar symbol and my triangle. And we did the medium side first for the first two triangles. So we've got to do the medium side first in the large triangle. And since we did the vertex with no right angle first and then the right angle second, we need to do it in the same order for the large triangle, so F-E, and that makes its last letter D. So yeah, I hope that made it a little bit more simple because I feel like that was fewer steps, actually I know that was way fewer steps than what I was trying to get you to do yesterday. All right, so number two wasn't quite as easy because the proportion they're asking you to fill in doesn't actually include the altitude, right? So that's why we were kind of like having to look at the other triangles and use that to fill in the proportion. Um, but again, by trying to move everything around, I was making it way too complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw those smaller triangles just like I did in the previous example just so you can see what I'm talking about but I'm going to keep them in the same direction as how we drew it um, as it is in the, in the big triangle. So since the proportion doesn't actually have the altitude in it, I'm going to make the statement of similarity first, and I'm going to use that to help me to fill in the proportion. So again, I'm going to do my small triangle, a medium triangle, and my large triangle. And then because of what we already know how to do with the proportion, so because it is um, part of the proportion, we know that MN, because that's the left 
part of that hypotenuse, we know that MN is corresponding with NQ, right? Because that is part of the, um, that's part of the theorem and part of the proportion. So I'm gonna start writing my statement of similarity and I'm gonna start with the small triangle and I'm gonna do MN. So I'm gonna write the vertex that's not the right angle first and then the right angle second. And then since I wrote it in that order for the small triangle, that means I need to do it in the same order for, or, I'm sorry, ah, I just wrote, I just wrote the medium triangle instead. Here, I'm just gonna switch those. Uh, hold on, I realized I did the medium one first. Hold please. All right, sorry, so that's the medium triangle that I did first. So I'm doing the M first, the vertex without the right angle, and then the right angle second. So in my medium triangle, that'll be M, N, I need to write it in the same order for the small triangle. So I'm gonna do Q first because that's the vertex that's not the right angle. Then I'm gonna do N second. Just remember order matters. Then I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the statement with the vertex I haven't used yet. So for the small triangle, I still need to write a P. And then for the medium triangle, I still need to write a Q. I'm gonna put my little similar symbol there. So now that I've got those in the right order, now I need to do the large triangle. So I did the medium side of the other triangles first. So that means I need to do the medium side of the big triangle first. I did the angle that it, or the vertex that is not the right angle first, so that means I need to write M first, and then Q second, and that leaves just P for the third one. So hopefully that simplified it for you just a little bit. Let me know if you still have other questions though. Oh, and I almost forgot to do the um, proportion part. Okay, so you'll notice in the proportion, M, Q, so M, Q, is, per, is set up with P, Q, right here on the large triangle. And so M, N, so now we need to look at the medium sized triangle. So that means that M, N, so this side right here, so that's like the medium side of the medium triangle goes along with the short side here. I don't think I did a very good job. I think I'm gonna highlight each of these like one by one. I think that would help you to see it better. Okay, hold please. All right, so let me do that again. So MQ, So MQ is set up in the proportion to be corresponding with PQ. So we've got the medium side or the medium leg, right? And then the short leg. So that's where that came from on the left side. And then we have, so MN on the medium triangles, so we've got like that medium side is going to correspond with QN because that, or NQ, I'm sorry, because that is the medium side, because that's the short leg of the medium triangle.